Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. I actually filmed this about a month ago and I completely forgot about it until I went into video editor and saw it. Um, I'm just going to show you these which are some gel polishes and an acrylic that I chose from Nao's Weekly Picks. And then I'm going to go on to doing some swatches for some model ones and it's the Chameleon uh, set that I bought. It's actually probably more than a month ago. Um, but they are um, chameleon because they are heat activated. So I'll do the swatches and I'll show you how they work with the hot or cold. So yeah, I've actually done another week of picks since this. So I'll show you that in another video. So thank you all for joining me. Uh, it's not too long this one, but I hope you enjoy it. These are 15ml bottles and they cost me £5 each. So normally 9 99 I think sometimes their pick of the weeks are 5 50 something like that. So I'll show you those colours because I've already swatched them. Uh, and I also bought an acrylic which was just £2.25, I think it was, for a 12 gram, almost half an ounce um, tub. So I'll show you that. So these are the three colours. So the dark pink is. Quick Kiss, the very pale pink there is uh, Expectation and this um, it's like a nude beige heading towards a goldy beige is Moroccan Tan, oh Tan, <laughs> yeah so that's those three so I, I had a bit of a practice with the uh, paintbrush as well and then this was the acrylic uh, and it's called Carnival in Rio. Um, and I've done it with thin coat of it and then another coat on top so you can see see the difference. But that's that's this one. Like I said, £2.25. So it's blues and then it's got tiny little bits of pink and got gold shards in so yeah I think delivery was about a fiver so it cost me about 22 pounds something for three polishes and a and an acrylic I think that's not bad tried ombre look with gel polish rubbish can't do it granted I've not got a proper ombre brush I tried to cut cut one to bits to make one but no gave up I give up sometimes you just have to know when to give up so we're not bothered with that. Uh, but oh, I'm going to leave these out. I'm going to do you a few swatches of some model ones that I bought. Now these are uh, chameleon ones. So I'll just swatch these and then we'll get some warm and cold water and I'll show you. I'll show you what's happening with them. I uh, don't know what the, what's the set called. Um, it just says Model 1's Mood Gel. Um, but you'll be able to see the colours. Uh, they just have numbers. This one's like gold and bronze, so that's good autumn colour. Got pink and goes to blue. Pale pink goes to dark pink. And pink and purple, which is not a glittery one. So, let's swatch these. I'll just base coat these so it gets a fair deal and then I'll be back. So this one is number... 5703 It's a very thick consistency When you get it out, it's fairly translucent putting it on Quite sticky Beautiful um, burgundy type pink, dusky pink. It's a 
thin layers looking at how this is working. So that's that. Then this one is five seven three eight. Similar colour, but it's got glitter in. It's very nice. Looking at the bottle, this goes to a pale pink when it's warm because we'll be able to see <clears throat> when it comes out of the lamp uh, next one 5726 purple oh. come on gloves oh, what a ball ache I've realised the magnets aren't very strong on that stand, so if I try painting it on the stand, they won't fall off. Oh, it's very thick purple with pink glitter in. It's great coverage. You can move the glitter about a bit. That's actually self-leveling quite nicely, that. And yes, I know I've caught the other one with my finger. I'm going to get on better without that stand, I think. Oh, what a faff. Uh, 5746. Yeah, this is the one I wanted for the wedding. Yeah. I suppose these gloves get some taking used to. Or take some getting used to, should I say. one five seven five eight so this should be a red and then change to a silver oh it's lush Yeah, so everybody's started doing their autumn nails already. And apparently we're supposed to be going to have some nice weather next week. Which will make a nice change here in England. 
That's not bad for one coat, is it? Put a bit more glitter up there. There. Like that. I do like that. And the last one is really the reason I bought it because of the autumn colours, which is. Five seven four three. I think it looked nearly black when you put it on this, and it's got little tiny uh, tinsel bits in. Very dramatic, with a, a gold sheen to it. Can you see it? And gold tinsel. Right. A few of these I'll give them a second coat and I'll come back if I can turn me for enough. Yeah, so that's the colours when they're warm. So you've got the goldy one, that was the one that turns pink. Dark blue to that silvery grey, purple to pink, um, pale pink to the dark pink, and then purple to like a very, very pale, very, very pale blue. So, give him a second coat. Right, right top coat. It was this one because I haven't got any model ones, top coat. Cold room temperature or whatever, and yeah, that way around. The blue, did I do this one? the bottom one at the top. It's warming up again straight away look. Right, warm, cold. This one, cold water, and warm. How nice is that? It's different, isn't it? So that's that. So thank you all for watching. It's just short and sweet. I just thought I'll uh, show you what I've been buying. I can't buy anything else till the end of time. If I can't, if I can't do my own nails, um, what's the point? Um, at the moment, I've got plenty to go at. I think what I should do is I'll do your set of nails with these. Look, and I'll put them on the next video. I've got these little, um, little leaves. Thanks ever so much once again. Don't forget to like if you like it. That helps enormously. Uh, and sub if you haven't done already. And I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Take care. Look after each other. Bye.